We've reached velocities in excess of 9,000 feet per second. At this altitude, it's around Mach 8.6. The goal speed is, is posted all over our facility, and that's Mach 10. So the Holloman high-speed test track harkens back to the 1950s. It's easy for me to look back with a certain amount of nostalgia and say, ah, those were the good old days. In a sense, they were. But look at the progress that has been made since those so-called good old days. If you look back in, in our history, one of the hallmark figures of, of the test track was Colonel Staff. So he was secured in, in a sled and was, was carried down the test track and encountered uh, water breaking, which is a, a common source to, to slow our sleds down and encountered in excess of 40 Gs in deceleration. Missions changed over time. Track has changed and it's grown from 3,500 feet to 50,000 feet. And now, of course, we're not uh, strapping live personnel to the track anymore. We carry out egress missions, uh, but we, uh, we use highly instrumented mannequins now, and all the data that can be collected on a mannequin, you're just not going to get with a human. So we collect the data. Uh, we hand it off to uh, human performance folks who do the, the full-up evaluation. As we progress through generations and different sizes of humans to include now the female pilot force and smaller males, we can test in these ejection seats, reproduce those forces, and ensure the safety of the design down to the sizes and up to the max size of current ejection seat occupants. Uh, whenever there's, there's a big change, if you're uh, adding weight to a helmet, for instance, if you're changing your flight gear, uh, if you need to change a sequence or if you need to change componentry on a seat, uh, we, we need to check that out before it's going to be fielded out in the fleet. Uh, so that's, that's a large part of our job here uh, and drives uh, our egress mission. So our impact to the Air Force is, is directly supporting a warfighter. And that is what we're after is to make sure if they have to pull that handle uh, in, in an uh, egress event, that no kidding, they're going to be as safe as possible. That's what we're here to do is to collect that data, verify that, that everything has been accounted for and that the seed is designed in such a way to maximize survivability.